Well, this legislation passed in a six to three vote and it will go into effect 30 days after it is signed by Mayor Bruce Harrell, who has already shown support for this legislation. Now, this will make public drug use and drug possession a gross misdemeanor, allowing the city attorney's office to prosecute these crimes. Now, today's legislation would still allow for prosecution or would allow for prosecution, but also directs the Seattle Police Department to implement treatment referral policies in most situations. The legislation says 27 $7 million would fund these drug treatment programs. Dozens of people spoke during a public comment session today, both for and against the plan. Some spoke in favor of the law, saying these people need to be helped and that the public needs to be protected by the effects of public drug use. I'm a little sick and tired of going to a job site where I've got somebody smoking fentanyl or shooting up with no respect for my welfare or the customer's welfare or the business welfare. Other people in public comment thought the legislation gives too much power to Seattle police and the city attorney's office, saying they think this will lead to more arrests rather than treatment. All of you seem a little bit too excited to hand more authority to a trigger happy city attorney who plans on prosecuting more and prosecuting disproportionately. This is unacceptable. Back in May, Governor Jay Inslee signed a law making drug possession and public drug use gross misdemeanors in the city legislation now allows the Seattle attorney to prosecute those crimes. And the three council members who voted against this legislation today were Mosqueda, Morales and Sawant. At Seattle City Hall, Connor Board, King 5 News. Now, Seattle Mayor Bruce Harrell weighed in. He responded to that vote, writing, quote, as soon as the bill reaches my desk, I will sign it. After analyzing final adjustments to the bill and amendments from the throughout the process, my office will issue an executive order in the next week to provide training and guidance to the police department on implementation as well as metrics to track progress.